Welcome to Magna Rail Oz tutorial on a no loop point to point Magna Rail concept. In this movie, I want to show you do not always have to have your Magna Rail system go in a loop, and it can be applied to point to point situations on a layout and add yet another kind of Magna Rail magic. Obviously, fellow cars can't reverse, and only RC vehicles have that option on your layout. So, this is how you too can reverse vehicles. The N-scale Land Rover you see drives up to find a tree across the road and then proceeds to reverse back along the track. All done with an Arduino circuit with auto stop and polarity reverse but using the Magna Rail system to effect. Of course the canoeists are also moving by Magna Rail magic but they're on a, a loop. I was asked by a customer how he can move his tanks on his HO war diorama without having them have to loop around the place. Well, here's a solution I thought up. We start with his tanks in a marshalling yard at the train station, and they will travel along and onto a flat car positioned at the end of the loading ramp, and then stop. After an appropriate time lapse, could be up to a minute, they will reverse back off to their original position. But, depending on space availability, he could have a further group come out of the forest and take up the gap left by the first trio or individual team. On the next pictures you'll see the chain moving through the motor housing and it stops before it runs through and then reverses. So that's just part of the sequence that you'll see now. They come up, the chain stops and then they hit reverse, back again top ones back in line, bottom ones back into the forest. If you can imagine the yellow chain, which is about to come up on the screen, um, as the first batch of tanks moving up the ramp, then they stop for however long you want and reverse back. In this scenario, you can use a 180 degree return loop so that the whole operation can be contained under the marshalling yard if you don't want another lot of tanks coming out of the forest or if you really push for space. So you have the no loop option and let's see what the old grey matter can do with this now that you're aware of it. An obvious one is the option of a train station with a platform either side, a parcel or goods, goods room attached to the ticket office and we have our no loop station. So we have the little powered trolley coming out of the unaccompanied luggage and freight section from the goods shed. And then the pallet lift is outside bringing in the heavier freight from the loading dock. And then, once again, after uh, appropriate time delays, you reverse the action. Simple but effective. A bit of the magic happening. One final one, and taking a leaf out of a fella playbook, a road construction scene with an asphalt laying machine and its tip truck putting the raw materials in with a steamroller, not a steamroller, a roller flattening the completed section and of course the right delay in between to make the magic. The asphalt layer and truck can be replaced by a grader or compacting machine on a dirt road and the length of the road works is up to you. Um, can be however long you want. So. I hope this stimulates your thinking. This can all be achieved with a slow motor set and one track extension for about $100 Australian, plus the cost of the electronics if you have a spare. But if you have a spare train controller, you can operate it manually at your leisure, which also adds even more unpredictable magic. Any questions? Leave them in the comments section below. Welcome to the world of Magna Rail.